Hello players, Red7 here with a new video. With the game being currently flooded by hackers and weapon glitchers, not sure in which order, we were all waiting for some news from the devs. Put on top of that the fact that once you do the missions, the game lacks in content, and the micro starters, and the dissing, and the immortal bots, and the unfair deaths you sometimes suffer, and the server inconsistencies. Then you see a lot of impatient players waiting for changes, waiting for improvements and this wait does nothing else but generating hatred, negative comments and posts on the forum and a lot of ironic messages with hidden understandings. We immediately jump when we encounter a problem and demand fixes right away, but please keep in mind guys that such changes require time in most of the cases, so let's not be too harsh with the devs. From what I've seen so far, the devs are very committed to this project and are working their asses off to deliver us solid content and also improve the game and make it as good as possible. So let's not be like, dude, I want, I want, do it now. Remember you signed a contract and you purchased the game and you should have known what you got yourself into. Of course, we have some rights because of the $150 or euros or whatever most of us paid for the game but also remember that the devs especially Nikita have an idea about this game a concept and that shouldn't change because we want the game to be how we like it to be yes we are right in a lot of things and issues should be fixed but it's their game at the end of the day and we decide or we decided to play it by buying it to the devs, I recommend staying close to the community, especially in such tense moments. Remember, the majority of us support you and you shouldn't listen too much to negative feedback. Okay, big intro aside, let's have a look at what's new and what needs to be done. According to the devs word, everyone's stashes will get bigger, probably with the coming of the new 0.9 patch. How big the increase is going to be? I've searched a bit through the comments and couldn't find an official answer at the time I've been searching, so we'll have to wait and see. This is a very welcome news, especially for the guys with standard versions. During this video you can see some of the new pictures the devs recently published. I am not gonna spend too much time analyzing them, some of them are obvious like the landmine for example, some of them not and we can only suspect what they represent, but we will cross that bridge when we get to it I guess. I am not too excited about having new stuff, I really want to see game improvements, core improvements like probably the rest of you or most of you. Regarding updates and the game progress, there will be an intermediate patch before the patch 0.9 hits the game, as mentioned in my previous videos. Expect this patch very soon. This intermediate patch contains mostly fixes and additions slash improvements. The most important ones are the addition of the new anti-cheat update or system, optimization for customs and shoreline, hopefully a fix for the constant micro-freezes, some AI fixes and new armor stats. This patch is gonna hit the game very soon as said, according to the devs, it is necessary due to the amount of hackers and glitchers. Then 0.9 patch with more fixes and probably with more new content will follow the intermediate patch. Probably there will be another wipe with the coming of this big patch, so prepare to do the missions again. Yay! No offense, but I really do enjoy the missions and they give me a goal. If not for the missions, I would have stopped playing a long time ago. It will also be fun because the devs will plan to randomize the tasks. So explorers, be happy, PvP players, don't hate us. Then sometime in the future we will have a new map. The new map is apparently called the Labs. There is not much info about this map, I only know that it's going to be a closed environment exactly like the factory. Where is it going to be located on the map and how big it will be we will have to see. I cannot tell as I couldn't find info regarding this map on the web. It will be interesting to have two such maps and to have the possibility to choose between them when you're in a mood for PvP for example. When will this new location map come? We don't know. Also don't forget about the ammo changes, you can find the ammo sheet in the description, have a look at it and choose the right ammo when you go into the raid, it is very important, don't forget that. 
some final thoughts. To wrap this video up, I want to thank the devs for moving relatively fast and trying to correct the current issues. We will have to see the results in the game still, but according to the comments I saw so far, the glitching problem seems to be fixed at least for a while, until another ass will find another way on how to exploit the game. Regarding hackers, only time will tell. I am not sure about this new anti-cheat update, we will have to we will have to wait and see. What bothers me a lot, and the community as well, is why video proofs are not accepted. Saw some footage of a douche hacking and bragging with his achievement on his YouTube channel. Someone posted the video on the forum and the official answer of the devs was we do not accept videos as proof. It was obvious he was hacking devs. Ban that joker. He's mocking you with this attitude and you devs are ignoring our good feedback. Yes, he will eventually be banned in one week, but what about the damage he does during that week, you know? I also want to mention another issue that's bothering me and some of my other friends. The field of view issue. Remember there was an option before, a glitch, where you were able to see more of your weapon. We used to love that stuff because we could admire the whole weapon and we could properly use side sights. Now they're glitching through, which makes them unusable. We ask you devs to somehow implement that in the game. The field of view can be switched to 75, but I believe the weapon gets stuck at 50 or so and gets that weird position. I believe the whole field of view should get pushed back with 75 and the weapon as well. It had no influence on the gameplay, on the enemy, only on the player who was using it. This way a lot more players, a lot more of us, will be using the side scope again. It looks horrible right now. Just look at it. Nikita, would you like to use something like this? I guess not. You can even add this as in a fun way and constructive way in the game. Create a skill with it and make players grind for it. It will definitely be fun. Please consider this if some of you watch my videos. Thank you. And this brings us to the end of our video. Want to thank you guys for watching my PvP video I posted a while ago. I thought it will only gather some hundreds of views and told someone that if I hit or if the video hits 1000 views, then I'm going to do the second part. The video has almost 9000 views so far. Thank you guys. Patrons, thank you for the support so far. Friends, thank you for your views and eventual likes. Don't forget to sub and to follow me on Twitch. And don't forget the EFT t-shirts and hoodies we made for the community. We did a funny representation of EFT with which you can brag at school, for example, or at a gaming meeting. Appreciate all the shares, the comments and suggestions, the criticism and all the likes you guys leave me. Have a nice day and take care of yourselves. Remember to do some social life as it is very important for you as well, especially when you're young, but not only. Red 7 out. Peace.